What is up, y'all? This is Arrow Thrills coming in with a new video, as always. Um, in this video, I'll be talking about the um parts of a bass drum pedal. So, let's begin the video, shall we? Before we um begin the video, I'm going to um give credit to my new intro that is coming out. Um, Coaster Meme made it. If you guys want to subscribe to his channel, anyways, let's get to the video. So, like I said, I'm going to go over the parts of the bass drum pedal and what they do, their specific purpose. So the first um, part I'm going to go over is the foot plate. So this right here, like you guys can see, this is the foot plate. And I know there was like a little padding or covering that was supposed to go on there. I tried to put it on there, but it kept falling out, you know. So this is the um, foot board. And I guess this is like the support. So um, it keeps like the bass drum stable. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like really sliding around, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's a specific purpose, but I really didn't get a good purpose on that. So um, the second um, part of the bass drum is the pedal spur, or these are called the spurs. Like you guys see right here, this is the spur. Make sure you get, get a good look at it, all right? So this is the spur. Um, and what the spurs do is the um, the spurs dig into the rug. So if you're ever if you ever have like a bass drum pedal, and um make 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 sure you guys have a rug so like I said the bass drum pedal doesn't slide around because like when I was going to, um when I was playing for like the jazz band at Madison Middle School they didn't have a rug and like the uh bass drum pedal would just slide around all over the place man it was a train wreck it was horrible man I'm like for real anyways um so basically what the spurs do so the spurs dig into the rug so the pedal won't slide all over the place and it keeps the pedal stable so it keeps this the it keeps the bass drum pedal stable so hopefully you guys get what i'm saying okay so the other thing I'm going to go over is um the hoop clam so the hoop clam let me you guys show you what the hoop clam looks like so right here like you see i know you guys see the hoop clamp right there hold up a second hold up a second y'all so as you guys can see Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So this is the hoop clamp. So um, so the purpose of the hoop clamp is, um, it is the part of the um bass drum pedal that attaches. Let me let me restate. So the hoop clamp is um the part that attaches itself to the bass drum. So basically, this attaches itself to the bass drum. It keeps it kind of keeps it stable. So I hope you guys get what I'm saying. So this is the hoop clamp. This is the third thing I'm going to go over. All right. And um, the fourth part of the bass drum is the footboard. So this is the footboard. I don't specifically remember the um, significant the the, the uh, significance or this um. I don't, I don't remember what I'm trying to say, but the significance for the um foot pedal, but um. I guess what the foot pedal does, or, or I mean the footboard, um, is, I guess it makes the bass drum available to um like, oh hell, I can't hell, I can't explain it. Never mind, let's get that. So basically, that's the foot pedal. I don't really know a good explanation how to explain it. All right, so um, the number, the fifth thing I'm going to go over is the uh, um, the drive. So this is the drive. So you guys can get a good view or look. This is this is called the drive. So there's like a chain drive. So basically, this is called the drive. You know, I guess it keeps the uh, bass drum um, or makes the um, bass drum available to move. So let me read its real purpose. I'm just guessing on the top of my head right now. So uh, let me see. I think we was talking about the um, drive. Okay, so basically, the drive um, is a piece that makes the pedal move. So it can be a chain. So these are the different types of drives the bass drum pedals can have. So it can be a chain. It can be um. So basically, it can be a chain pedal. It can be a, a belt pedal, or it can be a solid piece that attaches um to um the foot plate and cam, or it's called the cam because, like I said, this 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 part that you guys see right here that I'm pointing to right now that is called the cam. Or the, the, that's the PCS called the cam. This is the cam. 
Okay, so this is so basically just sum this up. This is the cam and this is the drive. This is the drive. Okay. So I hope y'all get what I'm saying. All right. Let's move on to the next part of the bass drum. The cam basically is a piece. Um the drive lays on that allows the beater. So this is the beater right here. You guys see there's different types of beaters that I'm going to go on that I'm going to talk about later on in this video. So like I said, this is the cam. So basically it's a piece the drive lays on that allows the beater to fly forward when the pedal is pressed down. So like I said, you can press the pedal down basically with your foot. Common sense. You got to see right here. Okay. So all you need to know. Like I said, I'm going to fix this chain or whatever, the spring. That's what I'm going to do. The spring assembly, I'm going to fix this later on in the video. <coughs> Next. The other piece I'm going to talk about right now is the um, spring assembly. So this is called the spring assembly, okay? So um, I don't know, the I forget the exact purpose of the spring assembly. Hopefully I can explain it later on. But like I said, this is this piece that you see right here, right here to there is the spring assembly, okay? And another piece I'm going to talk about is the beater stopper. So I believe this is the beater stopper. Because, like I said, you can stop the beater from moving. If you think about it, common sense, you can use this um, this key to stop the beater. So I'm gonna show you guys this for an example, um, so y'all can get a visual. So this is the beater stopper. So let me get this back to where it was, so y'all can get a better idea. All right. So this is. Let me tighten this back up. So this is right here. This this piece. Is the beater stopper okay <clears throat> all right and this piece that you see right here of the bass drum pedal is called the um cam adjuster because like i said i drew everything i tried to make a good drawing i know you don't be roasting me in the comment sections folks but <laughs> i tried to do the best i could do man like i said right here this is called the cam adjustment so like i said right here this is the cam adjustment and and I guess you can adjust the bass drum pedal which way you want it to go. Like if you want it to go forward. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. Oh, shoot. I'm doing this wrong. The, 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 the piece was right here. So like I said, you can um uh adjust the bass drum wherever you want it to go. Or you can um, move the bass drum. You can position the bass drum wherever you want it to go. If you want it to go forward or backward. So let me show y'all so you know what I'm talking about. Because... I finally found out the problem, what was going on. This is the school's bass drum, my high school's bass drum, so I'm fixing this. But I found out the problem because, I guess, you know, people mess up with everything right nowadays, man. So, like I said, you can position this to go down, go like this way, or whatever. You can position it to go forward, or you, or you, or you can position it to go all the way backwards, okay? Y'all get what I'm saying, all right? So that's that's how you um that's an, or that's called the um cam adjustment or that's how you adjust the bass drum, you know, it's movement or whatever. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> and the last piece I'm going to talk about is the beaters. So um, you see, so this piece that I'm touching right here is called the beater. You know. This is also called the beater. So I'm going to go over the types of beaters because there's not only one type of beater. All right. This, um, the, the different types of beaters I'm going to go over is for um, different types of genre, genre of music. Like there's different types of genres like jazz, rock, and stuff like that. Like I said, there's diff different types of um, genres for music, if I'm making sense. I hope I'm saying correct English, but is what it is. So let's talk about the different types of beaters. So... Right here, I'm going to talk about is the pa the plastic beaters. So I believe what you guys see right here is the plastic beaters. There's no um, like soft beaters. This is this is this is hundred percent plastic. This is my PDP five hundred series um, bass drum pedal. Okay, so this is the plastic, and basically what the plastic is used for. So the plastic um, bass drum pedal or beater. Is commonly used for harder types of music like rock or metal. So this type of um, beater would be good for like rock, metal, maybe funky type of music. If you want like that attack to it or that nice, you know, um, 
sound to it. I'm trying, I'm trying to say the word, word, but if you want that nice, you know, um, quick sound to it, you know, like that quick, good sound to it, this would be the type of beater that you would use. <clears throat> the other beater I'm going to talk about, I don't have that type of beater, but my church that I used to go to has that type of beater. It's called the um, felt beater. So um, the felt beater um, provides a full, a full warm sound and is used for jazz. So like I said, my church used to have a felt beater. It wasn't like a vintage one, but it was like a soft. So the beater was very soft and stuff like that. Like that. But it's, it's in storage at, at my church. So um, yeah, I don't have it. So I can show you guys an example. You can look it up on Google or whatever you want to see an example of a felt beater. And last but least, what I'm going to go over is the combination beater. So I believe this is um, the combination beater because it's mixed. So this is um, so this is like the felt beater because it has like the felt on top and at the back is plastic. So I believe this is called the combination beater. Correct me if I'm wrong. So this is um, the Pearl Dual Beats. So like I said, I believe that this is the combination beater. So basically the combination beater has two or more beater heads so like i said this has to be the perfect example of a combination beater so this would be a perfect example of the combination beater look at that look at that thing even though i shouldn't get rid of it i'm going to get rid of it well this is the schools so i don't know what i'm talking about so i will see you guys later make sure uh you like and subscribe i will um show you guys how to fix this bass drum pedal tomorrow because i gotta go to bed unfortunately but peace out